the 58th annual Grammy Awards are getting ready to start. It's just live TV. It's just live TV. It's going down. Did the annual Grammy Awards? I'm out of here. It's time. Peace. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm going to go back to that. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to. How you feeling? Good, man. How you good? You sure? Awesome, awesome. He said he's awesome. Let's get ready for the Grammys 58th annual. It's on the way. My main man, L Cool J, is going to take the stage. And it's almost about that time. Right? About <laughs> now. This is amazing right here. Yes, hashtag blessed. Because anytime Beyonce drops anything, I feel blessed. I feel like angels come down from heaven. I feel all the gay nerves in my body start to come alive again. <laughs> She wore so many looks. She gave yes. it to us. She was giving me life. She blessed all the children of the world with this video. Tay Tay opened the show and she crushed it. Then she won three awards and her squad went cray cray. Kendrick Lamar crushed it even more with his performance. and took out four awards for his hip-hop masterpiece to Pimp a Butterfly. His squad stayed pretty calm, especially as Ed Sheeran pipped him and Tay-Tay for Song of the Year. My parents have flown for the past four years to come to the Grammys every single year, and every time I lose, they go, maybe next year. <laughs> While Lady Gaga's outfit was pretty dodgy, her emotional tribute to David Bowie brought the house down. Meanwhile, Lionel Richie got the whole auditorium dancing like a drunken uncle at a wedding. <laughs> oh, not long! Hey, I'm not. <clears throat> Sorry, where was I? There are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments. I'm like Howard Hughes. I'm like David Stern. I'm like Steve Jobs. If anything, that's a compliment to them. I'm like Michelangelo, because I'm the new version of that. Or your fame. But if you just focus on the work and you don't let those people sidetrack you, someday when you get where you're going, you'll look around and you will know that it was you and the people who love you who put you there. And that will be the greatest feeling in the world. I'm bad at sleeping on my own, because if you like the way you look that much, oh baby. No, I like a Bieber on the radio. I'm not a big thing for him or for that. So Just he, his Bieber oh, songs I don't know if you want Bieber on a balcony with his... Yeah, you know what? No, that's, no, that's the point. Yeah, no. So Bieber can do plenty wrong, no. I think is what we've established. <laughs> Adele, by the way, mm. seemed to do a bit wrong. I, I, she copped a lot of criticism for this performance. People saying it was pitchy and off-key and all that sort of stuff. And she's seen fit to take uh, to hit back on Twitter where she posted a couple of tweets explaining what happened, piano mics fell on the piano strings, etc. Um, but the tweet after was But this is one. the one, yeah. I'm She's treating myself to an in and out. A burger which in is and a burger out. joint, yeah. <laughs> so maybe it was worth it. You know I love my fun facts. I've got a couple for you on the Grammys. Oh, here we so go. there's only been one person that's ever knocked back a Grammy and that was Sinead O'Connor in 1990. But the, the song uh, that she got it for was I do not want what I haven't got. How fun is that? Well and then she knocked back the Grammy. Taylor Swift yeah. didn't want to get into music to start with. She wanted to be a financial advisor. Really? Yes. Is right? And she has, fra has framed a picture of the I'm, a let I'm gonna let you finish Kanye West thing in as motivation in her home. With underneath she has something that says um, life is full of little interruptions, ignore them. <laughs> My dad fled Cuba in 1957. He was just 18. He couldn't speak English. He had nothing at $100 in his underwear. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, who's the host of, of Huckabee, right here on the Fox News.